What's going on guys, my name is James Collects and if you'll find me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. Today we have the Rick and Morty crate. Now I'll be honest, I've already opened it and you'll be able to see one of the items is just behind me. I, I may have been talking to myself for a good three minutes or so and then suddenly realised my phone wasn't recording. So let's start again. First item is a Rick and Morty uh, Peace Amongst Worlds figure we have previously from loot crate had the the rick sanchez one so i suppose it's just nice to have it next to rick sanchez one although personally i think i sold the one that i had value wise i would imagine it's around 10 pounds or so although loot crate will presume that it's worth about 30 dollars when it just simply is not so yeah quite nice same it took well over six months to get here Next up is the t-shirt, which if I show you guys the back, you can see it's just like stars in the sky. I would imagine that if you are walking down the street, people most likely think you've got some sort of dandruff. Uh, I've got no idea what that is on the bottom. Um, that's not a callback to any particular episode that I can think of. Then on the front, it just says Rick and Morty with more dandruff. And then we've got Rick Sanchez telling Morty off for doing something stupid, no doubt. T-shirts always worth about a tenner. Uh, this has got like, it's like a rubbery uh, picture. It's not like the normal print. Personally, I don't like it. It's very rough against the skin. Um, yeah, not my my thing, but T-shirt, tenner, figure, tenner, we're on 20 quid so far. So I don't know the exact date uh, and how much this was because it was so long ago. If I do find out, I'll link it or put it somewhere down below. But I wouldn't have paid full price. So I very rarely pay full price for any of my loot crates. I'll always wait for a discount code. Next up is a decal. And okay, you can't see it, but there is. I've got to get the right angle now. There is Rick Sanchez uh, running. Morty running. Oh no, they're all running, okay. Oh, so it's the whole of the family, basically. They are for, looks great on car windows, laptops, tablets, notebooks, and binders. Um, I would imagine, yeah, that would be, you can't see that at all, can you? That's really annoying. Um, but apparently, really easy to install, which to be fair, it is a clean surface allowed to dry, peel the sheet, uh, apply a surface, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you don't want to do that, your best bet, to be honest, is to use washing up liquid and a credit card put wash up liquid on the surface of which you want to stick it uh, which allows you to move it as and where you want and then you can just use the credit card to get rid of the liquid behind it which allows the sticker to adhere to the surface that you want to stick it to pro tip uh, we've got oh two more items so we have a this is this is out of all the stuff you could do from rick and morty as a pin this is what you go for your opinion means very little to me. Um, I don't quite know why it's in the shape of Rick's head. It's just a bit boring. Uh, value wise. I mean, oh damn it. Stickers. Fiverr. No, maybe more than that. Should we say eight quid for the stickers and then we'll give two on this. So that's 30 quid worth of value so far. But that is by far not the best sticker that I've ever seen. We've got one more item left which i'm fairly sure is going to be some sort of a cup because it's in a little black box this is a very disappointing box i mean there's decent value for money there depending on how much you paid for your box but it's just a bit boring to be honest uh oh i don't know if i like these or not hmm don't know what do you think so it's rick and morty uh, with like x-rays not x-rays because that's got muscles in it as well uh, but, but essentially their skin just peeled off which uh, that's yeah it's growing on me the more i'm seeing it the more i'm liking it but a uh, value wise probably about a tenner again so we're looking at 40 quid worth of value for this particular box as i say i don't know how much i paid for the box i don't know what the retail of the box is worth i would have thought Loot Crate probably think everything in here is worth double what I valued it at when it's really not. There is a box which I am tempted to get. It's the TMNT box, 
which comes with a NECA figure. There's only three boxes. If you order all three up front, you get an extra figure, um, but every single box comes with a NECA figure. I think it works out to be about 130 quid for all three boxes. Uh, but with with everything doing so well recently, uh, I may well get the box and just bite the bullet, uh, but I'm not gonna do the Fallout crate. And I've seen them try to advertise it on Facebook and it's just full of laughing emojis and angry emojis and people just absolutely slating loot crate because I think a lot of people like myself was just fed up with the, uh, with the fallout crate when it came to an end because it was just progressively getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse but yeah if you want to pick up a loot crate there will be a link down in the description below where you will get some money off as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.